Hello Taurus, welcome to your 2018 tarot forecast. It's Rena here, shuffling the cards, and this is a spread I created for this specific type of reading. And um, it's been kind of fun to do something different, to look at the year ahead. And speaking of that, if you'd like to do that, I have different types of readings, um, including an astrological uh, forecast, or it's it's a combination of looking at your your natal chart um, and all of the the talents that you may have, the patterns that you may have, along with some of the highlights of 2018. It can be any 12-month period, but, you know, there are certain times when certain things are happening, you know, like that are good for career, good for love. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's a combination of those two things. Natal chart interpretation, I have other types of readings too. Please look at the link below for that, and uh, the website is rainofmoonastrology.com. I'm a little nasally getting over a cold, so bear with me. And I will um, explain the positions when I finish putting out all the cards. When I'm doing it, I'm going to try to get it all in frame, but I think that I'm just going to, you know, end up... Uh, I'm also going to do an astrological version of this for 2018, and that will be coming up. I haven't done them yet. I've been kind of um, been uh, a little bit behind on my readings on YouTube due to my cold. So okay. I think I'll make it. I think I'll have it all. Okay. And I'll, as I said, I'll, I'll focus on those cards when I get there. So the top um, level or row are cards that are connected to past influence, some of which may still be ongoing, which you may still have to tie up loose ends. Uh, some things may be things that you triumphed over in 2017, that you are taking into the the new year with a lot of um, good feelings about. One of them is the Knight of Pentacles. This is a card of, this is actually your card from what I understand. And it's about somebody who is very consistent and methodical, working every day, going to work every day, kind of like a Taurus person would be, like a fixed sign, earth sign. Uh, being that, you know, eyes on the prize, trying to maybe save up for a certain goal, like a down payment on a house, or you want to do something like go on a trip, and the trip is an important thing, the traveling is an important thing, it's not just like, just to enjoy yourself, you really have a serious goal behind that, and you're just driven to amass money. And so this is, uh, I, I shouldn't have put it in the uh, future tense, or that you're going to be, you, or maybe I did say present tense, you are driven to earn money. And so going into 2018, this is very good because you have this sense of continuity. You know, I got some of the same cards as I got in the last reading that I did, because, but some of them are not in the same position. I'm going to talk about this because this is, a card I also got for Aquarius. And this is the Five of Pentacles, Mercury in Taurus. The mindset of somebody who uh, may be too materialistic, and but this is a card of lack of consciousness. So it's, um, uh, you may have had to, maybe you even had a period of time where you were financially 
um, under stress for some reason, but you barreled through by just putting one foot in front of the other and working, going to work every day, showing up. So um, one thing I want to talk about that courage very briefly is that it's good that I got the Knight of Pentacles because it shows that you were willing to do something about your situation. But in terms, if you feel that this is something that is true for you, where you're constantly thinking that, or afraid, you know, fear-based about your ability to, you know, support yourself, to have enough, these are things that can be dealt with. There are different ways you can do it. You can do it through affirmations. You can do it through EFT, which is an emotional freedom technique that's uh, tapping with affirmations. Um, there's a book I am reading called You're a Badass with Money, something like that, um, which appears to be a Law of Attraction type of book. Um, these things, it's all about the way that you think about it. This is Mercury and Taurus, so it's about your mindset. Um, and that, if you change your mindset, you will likely change everything around you. If you're still feeling those fears, you may be going to work every day, but you still have that kind of nagging feeling. Another thing, too, is being too materialistic and never being good enough. Always wanting more money. Uh, maybe, you know, in some cases... Um, there are, there are some of you who are compulsive shoppers and you're buying things that you don't really care about just to have that experience and that is what's creating your problems. Like they really don't exist, but it's your bad habits uh, with money that are causing the lack. And believe it or not, um, when people... It's funny, when people spend money, uh, it's sometimes because they don't believe that they deserve it. So they don't want it. It's like almost getting rid of it. And so they waste it on things. It's okay to spend money if it's something that you really can use and that you need. But think of all the people that are just wasting their money so that they can have this diversion or the sensation of having things. And Taurus can lapse into this, the shadow aspect of Taurus can be kind of greed and um, it's a very um, low consciousness to get it's like an inertia where where people are you know overindulging in material things which can't really bring them happiness and that's why it keeps going on and on so it's it's kind of like the ability to see material things in the proper perspective and not place too much importance on them, but also to go towards quality, not quantity. So buying things that you will, you know that you're going to want, you know, use in the long term, not just some kind of impulse. And also, just like with food, you know, Taurus tends to love food, but you want to eat things that are nourishing. When people eat things that are like uh, the bright, shiny object that seems really, oh, I, you know, this is going to be good, but it's really junk, they end up getting hungrier. And that's kind of like what the Five of Pentacles can be. It's like it's never satisfying. And you always feel that sense of lack or, or hunger because you're not really fulfilling yourself. And th this card can also connect with not getting in touch with the spiritual side, just kind of being too immersed in the physical. So this is in the past position, but it may be still something that you're dealing with. We have here the Knight of Wands. Have you been dealing with... a um, a person who is hard to commit, who doesn't want to commit. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if that's their actual sun sign, doesn't have to be. But they have that very, um, I was going to say that boyish nature. It's somebody who, if it's a man, a boyish nature, they could be 40 years old and they have a boyish nature. They just will not settle down. They, they're like a big kid. Nothing wrong with that. But they may not be all that responsible uh, but they could be very talented and fun to be with and sexy. And that's the problem where you might get, uh, you know, kind of distracted with this person. Also, you know, thinking I was talking about the Knight of Pentacles being a uh, being a facet of you, 
But if this is somebody else, it's like you're deciding between the dependable person and the, the, the one who's more dangerous and unpredictable, but more energizing. And if, you, if you're a Taurus with a lot of um, Aries, you might find that person appealing. I always associate that with Aries anyhow. And then you have here the, the King of Swords. Um, this could be some kind of a court case that's, that has been decided for you. And um, that is something that is still reverberating in your life in 2018. Maybe a child custody battle, a, um, a divorce, you know, you know, possibly a, a, a will or something like that, some kind of a lawsuit. And uh, you're going into 2018 with that resolved, or maybe the decision is hanging in the balance. Okay, so that's that's what you're coming into 2018 with. Now let's look at the, the middle row is the themes of 2018. I like this one a lot. The Magician, you know, create co-creating your reality. Not being passive, not, you know, taking the initiative, number one. Taking the initiative. The eight is a sideways eight is the infinity symbol. That's a symbol that is connected to success. Well, the number eight is connected to success. Um, the magician is about you being resourceful, you making do with what you have and maybe taking something small and making it into a dynasty, okay? And um, it could be really, it could be really something amazing. The good thing about Taurus is that you're patient, you're willing to put in the time to make things happen, and it's right below that Knight of Pentacles. So that's that kind of a consistent plotting type of a person who does, you know, who has that discipline to do things over and over again until they get the result. The King of Cups. This could be somebody that comes into your life that is a, especially a male, older male. Uh, it could be even like a boss. It's somebody who is in a position of authority sometimes or the father of your child. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, which uh, the water element is very compatible with Earth. And this person is a very compassionate person. They're very mature. They are emotionally mature. They're not manipulative. They are nurturing, even if it's a male, very caring. Um, very devoted emotionally. And if it's a boss, it's going to be somebody who supports you, that isn't trying to just squeeze out you know, your labor like a slave master or anything like that, slave driver. Um, Along with that, the Knight of Cups. This is an offer. Sometimes this can be an offer of love. This is a romantic person, maybe artistic. And certainly Taurus is romantic in your own way. You are ruled by Venus, but you are an Earth sign. So a lot of times you tend to, you know, and, and this, is, this is what I like about this card, right under the Five of Pentacles, because you tend to, you know, be like, connected with that earth, that tangibility factor of like, okay, um, let's see what gift you give me and I'll decide whether or not you really love me. And I always cringe when I hear these conversations with people where they're saying, and he gave me this and it wasn't, you know, that kind of thing to me that is so not what love is about. And I think that you're going to, you know, if you're somebody looking for love, you may meet somebody who is, you connect to on a spiritual level. And then all of that goes out the window. You won't be doing that. You won't be like asking them to prove their love. You're going to know it. Now, this is very interesting because I'm getting all of these knights. What is going on with these knights? Now, knight, the knight can be someone who is a, a man of, uh, you know, like what we would call young adult or up to 40 adult male. 
So if you're in that age range or that's who you are attracted to, it could be somebody like that. But this is, the knight is like kind of an energy that unlike the king is more, what would we call it? Uh, there is chaos associated with the knight. And um, except for the knight of pentacles. Well, the knight of cups isn't chaotic, I don't think. It's mainly the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Um, this could be that you are becoming bolder in your life for whatever reason. So let's say you did get divorced. You may have like reflected on your marriage and said, you know, I allowed this person to walk all over me and I'm not going to do that anymore. And so you are um, much more like standing up for yourself. The Knight of Swords is somebody who is like not, you know, tells it like it is, very blunt in their speech. They they don't mince words. And uh, maybe you tolerated something in the past that you feel you shouldn't have, that, it, that that was your, that was a wrong move on your part. The Knight of the knights, uh, the knight of swords can also be a lawyer. So again, right under that king of swords, it could be unless you are just going into the legal profession, maybe as a paralegal or an actual lawyer. Um, but with the king of swords, we could be talking about this kind of um, like a, a legal summons and dealing with some kind of a court case still in 2018. And perhaps in that case, you would get an offer, but maybe you're not happy with it. You're still kind of hashing things out. Perhaps you have a judge who is very um, compassionate and sees your point of view. Um, but I feel with the magi magician card that whatever is going on for you, Taurus, you're really not in victim mode. You're really taking responsibility. You're stepping up to the plate. You're doing your own thing, and you're kind of um, forging your own trail, so to speak. The influences around you in 2018, the, the Queen of Swords, this could be a mother, especially if she is someone who is very cut and dry. Um, for whatever reason, she's figuring into your life. It could be that... Uh, There is some, you know, if this is a facet of you, that you are being able to suppress your emotions or like put them in the back on the back burner so that you can accomplish something without feeling guilty about it, whether it's following through, if you were getting separated, then you're going to get divorced or something like that, or if you're dealing with an ex, either an ex-partner or a, an ex-company, if you, maybe you sued your, your former employer and you have to keep your wits about you. That's what the Queen of Swords is all about. Because sometimes it can be very ugly and, and it can, you know, create anxiety and things like that. And I feel like you're going to get your, um, yourself together to handle this. Five of Swords, this is a card of some kind of dishonorable behavior going on. Um, also, if there is some kind of victory in your favor, make sure that it's not you're not using any kind of sketchy means to... This is a card that can be empty victory. Um, but this could go both ways. If you lost a battle, it could be that somebody else used underhanded tactics, or they're trying to at least. And so be careful who you trust uh, because someone may act like they're on your side and they're just kind of like a mole trying to ferret information from you. Um, there could be other people involved. There's people in, you know, in the background of that card that, that point to that. And um, then we have the king of wands so we're getting all these queens kings and you know court cards a court <laughs> maybe like a literal court the king of wands is a card of 
great leadership, confidence, and initiative drive. So like the, the magician, um, although this is minor arcana, we're talking about really being the master of uh, the, the captain of the ship. You know, and this is, I would say, especially involving issues of career. If you have your own business or you want, you're starting one, you are going to feel, um, and I think that that would be especially the case with the Magician card. It's possible that you have been dealing, maybe you left a, a, a job that uh, you, you, the boss didn't didn't uh, honor you. Um, they didn't care about your feelings. They didn't. Uh, he didn't. Uh, he didn't care that you had responsibilities or that you know that you were being overworked. So you decide to go go it alone, and uh, you just like fall right into it. The King of Wands is a card of entrepreneurship. So definitely, if that's something that appeals to you. In 2018, you may even have a mentor, This, because this is an outside influence. So it could be that someone is able to help you, whether it be in real life, I mean in person, or maybe you take a course on the Internet that is like a business course that helps you to um, put your business together. That could be something that you do, and that creates that sense of confidence and and that sense of uh, ability to create for yourself that the magician points to. And then Page of Pentacles, message about money. Uh, and sometimes this can be like a, a, a lump sum. It might, it, it might not be like, you know, massive amounts of money, but something, and that might be helping you to do your business better, uh, the Page of Pentacles is a card connected to students, so it is possible that you may take a course, like I said, with the King of Wands that have to, it has to do with becoming a business person in your field, maybe getting a certificate that gives you great greater credibility or you feel it does. So there's a lot of um, influence of like learning and... Uh, and just um, going into this thing, grabbing a creative idea and, and turning it into something that's profit-making. Again, there could be a fire sign person. Might be fire and earth, these two elements that are in your life that you have to choose between. And I, speaking of which, this is the... A spiritual dilemma. Who do you choose if, if you are dealing with two different people? And this is also a card of whether or not to maybe move. Maybe there, maybe you want to move to a different physical location, but you're not sure if, if the timing is right. And um, It can be, I mean, if you haven't left a current job, you may be saying, oh, should I really risk it or should I, you know, play it safe? The the wands is always about taking a risk and um, being creative. The outcome is the temperance card, which is connected to Sagittarius. If that's somebody you're dealing with, the fire sign, that is a fire sign. But the you see that the, the angel has one foot in the water and one foot on land. And th this is a card of balance of spirit, spiritual pursuits and um, earthly matters. And being able to, being grounded enough to make, you know, your dreams manifest. But being creative enough, enough of a visionary to even... Think up these things. You have to have both. If you dream without any kind of um, solid, solid um, action and uh, just um, making things happen on that level, it, they won't happen. You know, you have to have, you have to accompany your dreams with inspired action. If 
you have action but you really don't know what you want, which the two of wands could be that you are torn between two things. You have to know what you want and be able to go after it. And taking action without having any kind of vision is probably going to lead you to spin your wheels, you know what I mean? So, um, anyway, it looks very good for 2018, Taurus. So, I wish you all the best, and uh, take care of yourselves. Bye!